Hello, welcome back to my channel Sydney's Primary Math. There are diverse types of triangles. The difference between them does not depend on either their size or orientation but on the measure of their angles and sides. In this video, we are going to learn about classification of triangles. Those who are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get my future videos and free worksheets. Also, watch my previous video on properties of triangles. The link is given in the description box below. Classification of triangles The triangles are classified in two ways based on sides and based on angles. First, based on sides that is classification in respect of the relative lengths of sides. There are three different classifications for triangles based on their sides. Scaling triangle, isosceles triangle, and equilateral triangle. Scale in triangle. A triangle in which all the three sides have different lengths is a scale in triangle. No sides are of the same length. In scale in triangles, the three angles are also different from each other. Isosceles triangle. A triangle in which Two sides have equal length is an isosceles triangle. At least two sides are the same length. In an isosceles triangle, the two angles opposite to the two equal sides are also equal. The side that is different is located between the equal angles. Equilateral triangle. A triangle in which all the three sides are equal is an equilateral triangle. Here the internal angles are also equal. We know in a triangle sum of all three angles is always 180 degrees. If we divide 180 degrees by 3 we will get 60 degrees. That is each angle in equilateral triangle measures 60 degrees each. Next, classification based on angles. There are three different classifications for triangles based on their angles. Acute angle triangle, right angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle. Acute angle triangle. If all the three angles of a triangle are acute angles, then it is called an acute angle triangle. An acute triangle has all of its angles less than 90 degrees. An equilateral triangle is also acute as all of its angles measure 60 degrees. Isosceles and scaling triangles can also become acute if all of their angles are acute. In such special cases, we can say acute angle isosceles triangle and acute angle scaling triangle. Right angle triangle. A triangle in which one angle is a right angle that is 90 degrees. It is called a right angle triangle. There can only be one right angle in this type of triangle. Since the three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees and therefore the other two angles are acute and both add up to 90 degrees. A right triangle can be isosceles if its two acute angles both measure 45 degrees. In this case, we can say right angle isosceles triangle. If the two angles have different measures, the triangle will be scaling, that is right angle scaling triangle. 
obtuse angle triangle. A triangle in which one angle is obtuse is called an obtuse angle triangle. An obtuse triangle has any of its one angle more than 90 degrees. Hence, the other two angles are acute. If the acute angles are equal, the obtuse triangle will be isosceles. We can call it obtuse angle isosceles triangle. If all of the angles are different, the triangle will be scalene. That is obtuse angle scalene triangle. In the earlier part, we have seen that three angles of an equilateral triangle are always equal in measure. That is 60 degrees each. So, equilateral triangles can be termed as equiangular triangle also. Are you interested to play with triangles? Okay. This is a geoboard. Geoboards are quite useful for creating two dimensional figures. You can construct various types of triangles using a geoboard. Dotted paper also can be used for this activity. Construct and observe different types of triangles. You have learnt isosceles triangle, scalene triangle, right angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle and acute angle triangle. Verify the triangle properties and special features. Isn't it interesting? Hope you are now familiar with classification of triangles and the properties of various types of triangles. I know you are interested to learn more about triangles. Sure, I will be back with another video on this topic. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share this video. Till then, bye.